so the mixed doubles taking place on the adjoining court is from the other group to the match we just witnessed. And Ian, just as we wait for the women's singles players to come on to court, I guess it's going to be difficult for the British pair after such a, a disappointing performance there to lift themselves up. I think they're first on tomorrow. Yes, and they've got to play on paper the two toughest pairs in the group. Two toughest matches to come on ranking. I'm afraid it looks an uphill battle for them from now. Yeah. crowd here come alive with the sound of the Chinese player being announced onto court Wang Sin there she is a 26 year old from Liaoning province former world number one of course Wang Sin up against this Japanese youngster, Seiya Sato, 20 years of age. White, white and blue. White, she needs white. And a toss of the coin. Oh. Now heavy strapping on the thigh of Wang Sin. And Ian, of course, the last time we saw her, sadly, she withdrew partway through the final of the China Super Series event a couple of weeks ago. 18-12 down in the opening game against the current world number one, Wang Yi Han. Now she's obviously struggling with injury problems. The number two on the Super Series ranking list, the third only number three on the world ranking, and that, of course, is why she has qualified for the Super Series finals rather than teammate Wang Shoshian. Twice a world championship medalist, silver medal last year in Paris, and a bronze medalist this year. Silver also at the Asian Games when she was the number one seed six finals this year for Wang Sin and you compare it to Sato of Japan two finals for her one in New Zealand beaten finalist at the US Grand Prix but 24 tournaments this year for Sato and I guess that just emphasizes the point that it's you were making earlier on today that with some of the younger players it's absolutely necessary to get them out and playing a, a lot of tournaments so they get hardened and used to this world-class opposition whereas some of the Chinese players they get that at the training center in Beijing so there isn't the necessity to play so many tournaments now our court officials this women's singles encounter players have only met each other once previously and that was in the Sudaman Cup in Qingdao earlier this year Wang Sin won on that occasion two straight games and pretty comfortable too the final of the World Junior Championships in 2008 and the event was staged in Pune in 
India. Lost out to Simon Awal. Simon Awal, of course, here. The Super Series finals. A big surprise earlier today, Ian, when we saw current world number one and world champion Wang Yi Hunt beaten by Sung Ji Hyun. Do you think there's another upset on the cards here in this women's singles? Well, current current form would say no. And you were talking in the introduction, Jill, about Sato. She's played 22 tournaments this year, and yes, young players need to get out and learn their trade, but. I think there have been signs in the last sort of three months, the last quarter of this year, that Sato's lost the edge of her game. She's lost a little bit of confidence and she's not been as sharp as she was earlier on in the year, that's for sure. Possibly signs that she's overplayed this year. This player, Wang Sin, had overplayed. I mean, when you think about the last four tournaments she's played in, she's reached four finals. That's a lot of badminton. It's not just the fact that she's played four tournaments. It's the fact that she's got through round after round after round. That takes its toll, and not just physically, emotionally as well. Yes, it does. Yep. Yep. But uh, with she's a more experienced player, and certainly tournament schedule a lot lighter, but Obviously, it mounts up substantially when you're getting through to consistently to finals. Whereas Sato's played 22 tournaments. 24, in fact. Tw 24, okay, 24. Individual, that is. That's without the Sudaman Cup. Uh, you see, that's one every two weeks. That's travelling the whole time as yeah. well, and the travelling mounts up. Also, lack of time to develop and to work on areas that you that are not working for you, you know, there's, there's not so much time with that sort of tournament schedule to actually develop your game and develop aspects of your game. Do you think that's perhaps one of the, the very, very few downsides of, of Olympic qualifying and uh, being in the Olympic Games? Everybody's so uh, wanting to be at the Olympics, qualify for the event, that's understandable. I'm fortunate enough to have become an Olympian many moons ago you're fortunate enough to have been to the olympics in a different role as the coach's role and it is the most wonderful experience it's difficult to describe just how magical that that experience is but do you think in a way that that's detracting from the development maybe of of a player like sato where she has overplayed or well we don't know that she has but it's a possibility yeah i think there's a lot of players that are sort of well, there's two reasons, isn't there? One, there's at the lower end of the scale, there's players that are desperate to actually qualify. And with Sato, of course, she's in a desperate competition with two or three of the other Japanese girls to get that, to get that yeah. qualifying place. It's a different sort of situation. But um, what happens when you play a lot of tournaments in 12 months is it, 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 your game doesn't develop. You lose a year in terms of development. You might gain in experience, but technically I would say Sato's still got one or two areas that she needs to work on and she won't have time to change anything because she's continually competing yeah very good point
what specifically though you know what should we be looking out for now to, to see areas of her game where maybe she's got weaknesses or where, maybe where she could improve I think um, I think in defense she's a grips a little bit fixed I think she has problems changing direction in defense of turning the shuttle across the court and also from the rear of the court the slices they could be a lot better with a lot more variety um, these are things that can be tidied up I mean she's a very talented player she's already had some world-class results but I don't see at the moment I don't see improvement in those areas coverage is fantastic but at the end we just saw a technique problem there where she went round the head when really she needed to change to a backhand grip to give herself some more variety there we see it got herself in a bit of a tangle that meant the reply was the return was very short and Wang Sin pouncing on it Seven of the last eight points going in favour of this lady. It is long. Eight of the last nine points in favour of Wang Sin. Yeah, and since she Four, three in the opening game. You always sense within the rally that she's she's just trying to keep up with one sin. Yeah, survival, isn't it? Yeah. One sin is dictating the tempo at the moment. She's just gradually imposed her rhythm on the match, and it's just a little bit too quick for Sato at the moment. Sato needs to find a way to break the tempo of the game up, mix the pace up a little bit, just make Wang either slow Wang Sin down by playing a bit higher and a bit shorter or put more smash in and make her move a little bit quicker than she wants to. What you don't want to do is stay on exactly the same pace as Wang Sin. You need to be changing it up, changing it down, mixing it up, break that rhythm. Because when she hits that rhythm, she's very, very difficult to beat. She makes very few mistakes when you allow her to play, play her own tempo of game. I'm watching one Sin's movement really carefully and because of that uh, pull out in the final of the China Open. I seem to remember it was her knee that was the problem. Now she's got her thigh strapped, but she she's looking to be moving well. 
So far she looks okay. Again, I saw her in the gym yesterday doing her prepar final preparations. I'm getting worried about you, the amount of time you're spending in the gym with these women's singles players all working out together. <laughs> I, need, I need to be in there more than they do. <laughs> My needs are greater. No, but it's, um, it was impressive. The session was very well structured. The professionalism of these players now is really, uh, really top draw. Yes, I think the thing that really impresses me as well is when they're away at these tournaments, the top Chinese women's singles players, you know, we've talked for years about the setup in China and how excellent that is at, you know, nurturing talented youngsters through, but they're all taking personal responsibility as well. They do their own gym sh sessions. I saw Wang Yihan uh, after she'd lost in, for her, the early stages of the Singapore Super Series event. She set up her own video camera. She was taking her own notes, watching at opponents and so on. That's good to see. Yeah, it is. And it's, it is quite new. It's quite new seeing the Chinese players in the gym doing the gym sessions without a coach or an out, without a trainer with them. And uh, very, very professional, very structured in their approach. Know exactly what they need to be doing. It's a good shot, but it's short from Sato. Wang Xing quick to get behind it. See it here, very quick to get behind the shuttle. She was already anticipating the straight reply. Yeah, it's quite noticeable now. Ian picking up on a point that you made earlier when Wang Sin is hitting these slices overhead she's making winners or forcing errors same doesn't happen from Sato no there's no penetration with the slices when she slices the shuttle she tends to take pace off rather than bringing the down sh shuttle down quickly and steeply it either comes down quickly and goes long or goes shorter and goes too slow missing angle and penetration with them game points there we see it that's too slow seen Sato in the last two or three tournaments really struggling for form and the struggle continues today she was always going to be up against it against Wang Sin but she's really playing with very little confidence at the moment Very noticeable that Zhang Ning not spending long with Wang Sin at all. There she is on the right, the Olympic champion. Yep, quick bit of positive reinforcement. Keep the tempo high. Keep the margins. And the Japanese coach working very hard indeed, and I suspect more than anything as you were suggesting words of encouragement yeah I think it's just to try and make a few things happen be a little bit more positive particularly early on in the points just to be a bit more aggressive on return of serve just to try and wrest the initiative away from her opponent maybe create a bit of time for herself but at the moment rally's going on bef beyond five or six shots it's Wang Sin who's dictating the type and the pace of the rallies We 
Obviously, tried to go cross in defence there, but it's it's a big arm movement rather than control with the of the racket head with the hand. And that was a real opportunity. The lift from Wang Sin, desperately short, should have more than that yeah look where our feet are landing as she plays that smash yeah again Wang Sin the pace of shot and the accuracy of shot just keeping her opponent off balance and creating space and time there we see she's got lots of time to set up choose the direction of the attack Too. Yeah, but again, Sato has a natural style of playing straight. Look, Wang Sin anticipating straight. Needs to change the direction there. Work her opponent on the diagonal. As Wang Sin does there. in having too much time on the shuttle Sato was worried about the attack trying to get into a defensive position and caught by surprise with the quick clear again all off balance it's better good aggression attacking clear to the backhand side quickly in behind it that might give her a bit of confidence twice already and sings accuracy oh for super shot that's amazing isn't it yeah super shot Sato saw she was late was trying desperately to get in behind it and create some pressure got caught with a cross good image see how late she is there though Maybe a quick change of direction from Wang Sin In using the diagonal to good effect, taking her opponent late, and that creates the space for the smash. There we see how late Sato is in that corner, and then late on the diagonal. And look at all that space, use it to good effect.
talks during this afternoon's session about the drift in this arena as we look down on the court. Chocolate is moving from left to right. Oh, that's a great angle again. She's not tall, but by slicing across the shuttle, she creates really good angles. Brings it down steeply, but keeps a little pace on the shuttle. Makes it difficult for her opponent. Oh, that's better. Yeah, used the diagonal herself there. I think this is going to be quite a swift piece of coaching as well. Yeah. It's about pace, isn't it? Saying something about the round the head shot. I don't know whether she's talking about Sato's round the head or whether she's talking about her opponents. I think she realises that her player's been pushed into that corner a lot. Wangsin's sort of making the play by starting the play by making her late in that corner, and she's trying to give her some alternatives to maybe get out of trouble from that corner. Better yeah, rally, yeah. Much better rally. Yeah, managed to keep some pace on. Make her opponent late in the rear court and then bring in a base forward. Sees her opponent's late, steps up. Much better. String points together at the moment. Yeah, again, that drops, it's just too slow. Even if that had to come over, Wang Sin was waiting for it, she's read it. There's no deception in that, no racket head speed. Of a change of direction under pressure. She was caught late in that corner a couple of rallies before. Didn't make the same mistake again of going straight. Uses the cross drive recovery. Catches her opponent unaware. Mm, that's wild. Yeah, running out of ideas, I'm afraid. of pressure into that deep backhand corner and eventually the technique breaking down there's no 
real belief, is there? And this is the problem when maybe a player is playing an awful lot but not winning an awful lot. They don't have the confidence, they don't have the inner belief. Yes, there's been a real lack of confidence in this performance. No lack of effort, she's still trying. No, 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 no. she's working hard, she's, she's giving it her best shot, but there's no real belief and no structure. No, and with eight straight points, become 14 match points. it long oh, she's bettered her score from the opening game well to get into such a commanding position perhaps just trying to finish it off and win the last point a little too quickly got to work for it and work as you did earlier on in the match this time 21-7 21 21-9 crowd applaud 26 minutes of play. Oh. Two matches over and done with in double quick time. <laughs> 